What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I have a few updates for the NFL. So some free agency updates and uh, I'm going to tell you how we're going to be doing things throughout the free agency period. So let's get it started. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go through the updates. Actually, no, let me tell you what we're going to be doing first. So first, I have a community. Um, I have a poll in the community that I need you guys to check out after the video. Watch this video first, hear what's, hear what's going down. But I do have a community poll where I need you guys to go over and vote. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see updates on just the Lions, um, just the NFC North, or the entire NFL? Now, I was thinking, if you guys do just vote on the Lions or just the NFC North, which is cool, I'm, I'm not mad about that, I may, at the end of the day, kind of just take every single thing that happened and just talk about all of it and just put it into its own video. So if you guys want to see it, let me know. But obviously, with, with the um, divisional and the Lions, it's going to be as soon as I can, as soon as I get the news, I'm going to try to tell you guys, upload the video. So here's the thing, a couple of things to expect. One, there may not be a lot of editing in it. The reason why, because I want to make sure I get the news out to you. For me, editing goes into a lot of other videos and it takes a lot of time, okay? I can't just like throw a video, make a video and edit in five minutes and stuff. It don't work like that. It takes too long. So I want to make sure that it's closer to breaking news. So maybe you won't see a cool background behind me. Maybe um, I'm outside, you know, because I'm not just gonna sit here and wait but maybe i'm outside maybe i'm walking around maybe i'm in a store but i'm gonna stop maybe i'll go to the bathroom i'll tell you guys what went down kind of give you a little bit of news on it but it's gonna be quick okay i'm gonna try to do my best to give you all the information quickly again there may not be the most editing to it so just it kind of be prepared for that. That's how today's going to go in the next couple of days with Lions news. But again, at the end of the day, I can probably do a little bit more editing. But again, this isn't really like one of those. This isn't one of those times where I'm too worried about like how the editing looks. It's more about me just getting the news to you and as fast as I possibly can. So just kind of assume that. And also assume if you get it before me, I mean, I may be a little late, but come check out my video. Let me know what I had to let, hear what I have to say. Okay. So I want to give you guys that. Um, you guys can go check out the community vote, community vote on that after this video. Now I will go through some of the updates that have happened right now. Some of the players that have um, been signed, whether it's franchise tag, signed to another team, moved from the Lions. There's one guy that's like that. So let's talk about some of the news. So going back to yesterday, we saw Ryan Tannehill get that huge contract. Um, Clayus Campbell was traded for a fifth round pick. They were really, really just trying to dump money. He's 33 years old. He's on a $15 million deal, I think it was for 2020. So that move didn't surprise me. Surprised a lot of people. Not me. Really kind of makes sense for them. They're trying to rebuild. Uh, but now let's get into today. Um, we saw Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett has been placed on a franchise tag. Not something that super surprised me. I actually did have a video about edge rushers for the Lions. I didn't actually get to uploading that video. I didn't love it. I didn't love how it came out. However, I talked about how Shaq Barrett was set to become, you know, a free agent, but it looked like the Buccaneers were going to give him the franchise tag or try to resign him, and that's what they did. So I didn't, you know, so in that video, I didn't really include him, which kind of stinks because it really is a good edge rusher. We could use an edge rusher, but at the same time, I didn't think we'd go spend most of our money there anyways. Uh, we knew about this news a while ago. It's kind of coming up again today that the Chiefs have given um, Chris Jones the franchise tag. We knew about that they were going to do this. Now, here's the first real signing news. This is for the Green Bay Packers. So this would be your NFC North news. Christian Kirksey has signed with the Green Bay Packers for a two-year, $16 million deal. Now, Christian Kirksey was a linebacker that was released from Cleveland. Um, they were trying to save money as well. And the, the Packers, having needed an interior linebacker because they're going to lose Blake Martinez, they go get Christian Kirksey. And Christian Kirksey, when I looked at him, wasn't a guy that was a major upgrade from any linebackers that we had, especially if we were trying to really upgrade that position. I didn't feel like Christian Kirksey was a way to do it. I feel like he could help, maybe give you some depth options, but I didn't think he was a guy that's going to give you like a huge boost. Even though the Packers really average gave him an $8 million a year, still didn't think he was a huge boost over what we had. So I wasn't really like intrigued by him. I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, he's cool. I wouldn't be mad if we did it, but it wasn't someone that I was like, yes, we need to get this guy. So it, we didn't get him. And I'm not too mad about that. Once again, the Packers need an interior linebacker. So that's what they did. Lin Packers um, are making a lot of moves. Who I think it was Minnesota last year. It was either Minnesota or Green Bay last year who did the same thing. I think it was Green Bay. We talked about Green Bay made a tons of moves as well when it came to, yeah, it was because they got both Smiths. Smiths? I don't know. Stop. Okay. Uh, Bud Dupree has also gotten a franchise tag from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kirk Cousins has agreed to a two year extension with the Minnesota Vikings. Okay. Not really surprised about that. He was said to become a free agent, I think, next year. So, so yeah, just they, they gave him an extension. Uh, wide receiver AJ Green has also gotten a franchise tag. Kind of surprising because, you know, I don't know how long they're going to keep keep him, keep him around, but I guess this could be the last year. Maybe with Joe Burrow potentially being their quarterback, they want to have a good weapon for him. And it kind of makes sense, right? Give him a nice little weapon coming in, and then the next year you might have to take him away. Uh, Derrick Henry has also gotten the franchise tag. So this is big, okay? Keep an eye on the Titans news because Derrick Henry gets the franchise tag. This is why talking about all NFL could be a good thing because Derrick Henry gets the franchise tag and Ryan Tannehill signs that huge deal, which means Jack Conklin's most likely going to be a free agent, which means we can go get him. 
Now, quarterback Dak Prescott has also got a franchise tag from the Dallas Cowboys. They weren't able to come to a deal even when it was offered, so that never happened. Uh, Rick Wagner has agreed to deal with the Green Bay Packers. And now some people are kind of mad about this. All of a sudden, Lions fans are like, why did we get rid of – we should have never got rid of him. And it's like, all right, cool. If you were like that before and you were like, hey, I didn't want to get rid of this guy anyways. I felt like it was a bad move. I'm not mad at you. But if you were before saying, hey, this is a good move, and then all of a sudden because they do it, it's a bad move, like chill. No, 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 no. You got to stop that. They had to do this. They lo they're losing Brian Belaga. They had to get another tackle. And they got Rick Wagner. Not a great tackle. That's why they gave him two years, 11 mil. But they had to get another tackle. So, you know, it's, it's based on needs. Not a great tackle. But, you know, I think we have to get a better upgrade there. For them, they needed it. We'll see what they decide to do. Okay, maybe that's just the guy that they keep for now and they'll go drive to tackle. I don't know. This is the sad news of today. Joe Thune has been placed on the franchise tag. I'm sorry. I had to give you guys this. I really am. Hate to say it, um, but he has been on franchise tag. So definitely keep an eye out for Jack Conklin and some of those other guards we talked about. If you guys want to know who those other guards are, go check out Graham Glasgow, possible replacements, that video. Um, I did put a what is it, a card up for yesterday, but you guys can go find it. It's really easy to find. But yes, Joe Thune has been uh, tagged by the Packer Patriots. Not super surprising, but again, it kind of stinks, right? That was definitely something we were looking at. And then finally, Anthony Harris, who's from Minnesota. Again, NC North News has been given a franchise tag. Now, he's one of the best safeties in the league. And the Minnesota Vikings decided to keep him around with the franchise tag. So that's your news so far for today. So you guys need to let me know in the community what you want to see. Um, or it maybe, you know, I'm thinking, though, if you guys vote all lines or all NFC North, which is cool. I think if I have time at the end of the night, I may put together a video and talk about every move that happened. Kind of just sum it up so everybody can just kind of have a breakdown of what went down. Because it's really hard to keep up with so many moves. So there you go. I'm not going to keep these videos um, long. Again, the editing on future ones may not be great, especially if the lines are breaking news or someone's breaking news. But, hey, just... It's all right. It's all about the news, right? Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'm out.